feel like that was probably one of the poorest games that we played all season long, but I think Pikeville had a lot to do with that. They did a really good job um, of switching things, and they can guard one through five, and just they kind of took things away. And when you don't make shots early, you know, you, you saw us play. Um, you know, when you don't make shots, that makes everything really tough. And then uh, they went to the triangle there, uh, there in the second half. And, and took a lot of things away. But, you know, we had first up six in the first quarter, and then you look up and we're down 12. You know, and we come out of the second half, battle back, make a three to go to two. Um, and then it was 12 before we could get it stopped again. So credit to them. I mean, they made big plays, made shots, and defensively they were really good. And, uh, you know, they, 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 they played really well. To, and well enough to win the game, and we didn't. Question. In the very back. switching things up like coach said uh, they always had a dude uh, kind of in the paint waiting on me so there was always two to three dudes on me so that just made it tough uh, get to my spots and get to my mid-range shot and uh, unfortunately they just, they just weren't falling tonight uh, also Reed obviously not the outcome that you wanted but how special was it to play on this floor tonight um, you know that's going to be your home later on so obviously not the outcome but just how special was this moment to play here at Sweet 16 and play on this floor? Yeah, I mean, it's a very special moment. Um, you know, everybody as a kid dreams of playing in the Sweet 16 and running out on uh, Rupp Arena. Um, the first time that we ran out, uh, you know, it was all you could do not to just have a big smile on your face, run out, everybody's yelling. You're finally going to uh, warming up on uh, at Rupp Arena, and not a lot of kids uh, can say they got to do that at 17, 18 years old, so it's a very special moment for sure. Hey, I was curious about your impressions of their point guard number five Wards and kind of seemed to really manage things really well for him. Yeah, he's really good. I mean, he's, you know, he's quick and uh, <clears throat> on a bigger floor, it's hard for us to pressure just the lack of size. It's hard to go down the floor and, um, you know, we, we tried to lay off him early and, and that probably got him going, but, you know, he hasn't shot the ball extremely well all year and he made big shots. You know, he made 18 footer, he made two threes in the first half. He had 10 and a half and, um, you know, he, he, he got them off their great start, and that was kind of, uh, you know, he was a guy that we kind of said, let's see what he can do against us, and, and he did it. You know, he got them off their great start, a great start, and then once they got the lead, uh, he just controls it. You know, he's so quick and makes good decisions, doesn't turn the ball over, um, just really controlled the game, I felt like, you know, once they got the lead. Back again. Coach, back here, would you mind just talking a little bit about what you saw Pike Bull kind of throw at Reed and, you know, the mid-range games obviously been crazy. What was it about tonight? What did they throw at him? Well, they switched everything early. They switched all the ball screens early, you know, and, and when you have five guys that can all guard the ball and be physical, I mean, it was a really physical game, you know, and not, not being critical at all. Just it was physical, you know, and they teams have done that all, all year. I mean, it's, there's no secret to it. You know, if you can get up underneath – uh, of, of Reed and, and be really physical with him, um, you know, and make him take tough 16 footers and, and they allow you to play that way, it makes it really, really tough. And like you said, you know, they had a guy sitting in the lane um, the whole time, you know, and uh, Ryan did a heck of a job. I mean, goes 11 for 18, but he's, you know, he's six foot four. You know, we just, we just have a hard time. We have a hard time getting baskets uh, in the post, you know, just flat out due to lack of size. and. We kind of live and die by the three. That's what we've done uh, all season long. Tonight it didn't go early. We had our chances. Um, I felt like to make some shots and pull them out of that and make them do some things differently. But uh, you know, credit to them. We, you know, they, like I said, they made shots when they needed to, and we didn't. Final question. Coach Valentine, congratulations to you and the North Pole Jaguars on a great season. Thank you. Thank you, guys.